the latest uh, version of Grip Band, the Echo for the single seat, the Foxtrot for the two seat version, is uh, something truly special. It is a product designed for the most challenging situations. Uh, it is a true multi-role fighter designed to handle the broad variety of an Air Force different tasks and missions. It is designed for this very operational context that we see in our region to handle the different threat systems and the situations. We have worked a lot uh, to make sure we have the most recent technology on board. And, ladies and gentlemen, there is no later aircraft design within the fighter segment available on the market. We are doing a lot to make sure it's future-proofed. And uh, I will later on talk about the design, especially the avionic system, making it possible for easy upgrades throughout the life cycle. We are well known for the cost efficiency. We put a lot of effort into making sure that we can optimize the operational effect out of any budget that a customer would spend. The uh, program with uh, the latest version was uh, kicked off uh, formally with the contracts uh, together with Brazil and uh, Sweden back in 2013-14. Uh, we're right now in full phase. Uh, the first flight uh, was made back in 2017 and uh, there we flew a fully uh, qualified uh, software load. And uh, we are happy with the development, the system is showing stability and uh, a very high degree of availability. We have been through the 9Gs and the uh, max performance when it comes to supersonic speed etc. And now we focus mainly uh, our test activities uh, to the sensors and weapon systems on board. We have nine, sorry, eight uh, aircraft uh, that we use in, in our test activities uh, currently. And uh, this year we will uh, increase the flight uh, test operations to three sites, uh, two in Sweden and one in Brazil. The deliveries to our customers uh, were initiated last year already. And uh, as we speed up deliveries, uh, from this year, we now also, in addition to Sweden, have one production uh, plant up and running and operational in Brazil. For the uh, Foxtrot version, the two-seat, uh, we are uh, developing that closely together with the uh, Brazilian partners. And uh, we uh, have the assembly that has started off. And uh, in 2023, uh, we will conduct the first flight. And uh, this means that we are uh, very well in line with the time schedule of the HX program here in Finland with the very latest version of Griffin. Something unique uh, with uh, the Echo Foxtrot version is that uh, the pilot uh, does not have to bother controlling each sensor individually anymore. Gripper provides a totally integrated sensor control system and through this the uh, pilot can define the volume of interest. It may be a square on the ground or at sea or a box in the air and all the available sensors on board will be used. Data fusion algorithms will make sure that a holistic picture and situational awareness is presented to the pilot. This means the pilot can concentrate on the missions and not controlling the technology on board. Several ribbons are also connecting together through an advanced uh, data link system, fighter to fighter. So information is shared in between and presented as you can see uh, on this screen. On top of knowing where we are, situational awareness and excellent sensors, we need weapons on board a fighter, either for a deterrence effect or to make sure we have a tangible effect in the target. And in many situations, traditionally, when procuring a fighter from one country, you will end up also with weapons from that country. It's not always that you see the best available weapon of each and every time coming from the same country. We have taken the integrator approach to pick the very best weapons uh, from the best manufacturers worldwide. We have a long heritage and tradition of integration. We 
do it swiftly and we do it in a cost efficient way. And that means that we can offer the best total package. It is also worth to note that the life cycle of weapon systems are shorter than the whole life cycle of the platform, of the aircraft. And that's why it is so important with flexibility, and that's a key word for us. Sensors and weapons design. It is important to look at how the system can perform in the everyday context. Ripon is built for harsh conditions and easy maintenance. It's built for road-based operations, and uh, we do turnarounds at a very short time, less than 10 minutes, and we do a full turnaround with rearming, refueling for an air-to-air -air mission. And this is uh, something extraordinary. If needed, we can change the engine within less than one hour. And as far as we know, uh, this is extraordinary in the market, and nobody else comes near. Furthermore, uh, short takeoff and landing capability. Over time, it is clear that we need to stay on top and make sure that we are operationally relevant. There are new threat systems uh, coming up and developing, and we need to stay in place with that. Traditionally, in this market, we have seen midlife upgrades, where once or twice during the life cycle of the fighter, you tend to take a huge leap. At the same time, with the risk that you will have discrepancy and difference in between what, you, what your operational needs are and the performance you have in your system. With Gripen, we have from the early days of Alpha Bravo and Charlie Delta versions taken the approach of continuous updates. And that has been a, a very good way of making sure that we, we stay operationally relevant. However, with the latest version, Echo Foxtrot, we take this yet another step and making it very smooth to do quick updates as we have separated the flight critical parts of the software from the mission related functions. And that is something that is truly building possibilities and flexibility for the future.